Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Frag Out Friday. And today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Hollow Sun PID Plus. Now, there is the uh, Hollow Sun PID Dual. I'm still waiting to get one of those. We will do a review on that one as well. This is the light laser combo. Um, so let's uh, go ahead and dive into this. But before we do, I want to thank Rain City Tactical in the Kent area of Washington for being a huge sponsor of this channel. If you guys are in the Kent area of Washington, make sure you guys head over to Rain City Shooting Center. Check out the uh, gun shop, the tactical store, the range. They have an awesome membership for a year. Go check them out. Great dudes, great guys. Good support local as well. So with that said, again, let's, let's unbox this thing. So obviously you're gonna have your standard plastic box uh, for protection that Hollow Sun likes to include which is uh, nice so you know you're not opening something that's potentially broken. Um, Hollow Sun card, your padding, your user manual, you have a little cleaning sheet in here, and then inside the box you have your PID Plus, um, you have a uh, adjustment tool for your laser, as well as a, um, a wrench to swap out your, your adjustments for depending on what kind of, uh, where you need it to fit, where you need it to fit on your rail system. Then you have your, your PID Plus, which is pretty nice. Feels good, feels, feels sturdy. And then you have your uh, proprietary charging cable that mounts to this side right here, right here. Um, just at first glance, uh, this thing's actually built really well. I like, I like the, uh, the 7075 T6 aluminum that it's made out of. Um, it's gonna be really sturdy. Uh, you've got a top set of controls and a bottom set of controls. Um, the bottom ones are labeled LA for laser, and then the top would be your light, unless you have it running on dual light and laser at the same time, uh, which is pretty much I think everyone's going to run their stuff. I don't, I don't think too many people are just going to be running their laser, um, but maybe. I would say most, most of the time, though, you're going to be seeing both on at the same time. Um, the Picatinny side is spring-mounted, which is nice, so it makes it easier to get off and on. You're not sitting here trying to like hold one side in case you go too far. Nice. Now, just for um, some clarity, so this at high output is 900 lumens. At low output, it's 450 lumens. Um, it has a runtime of 60 minutes on low power, 30 minutes on high power. We are going to do our runtime test. Um, it's IP68 rated. Um, comes at, comes in at just uh, about five ounces, and the green laser is a five uh, milliwatt laser. Now the overall length is 3.6 inches, and just to give you a frame of reference, um, we also have a uh, Olight Boulder here, Olight Boulder Pro. So it's a little bit longer than the Boulder Pro, and the nice thing is you can see on the bottom, obviously their laser is on the bottom, and then this is flush, which is kind of nice. Um, this is a, I, I would say a similar Similar buy, even price point wise, the Hollow Sun PID Plus is coming in at about 150-ish retail. Um, here's a in you know comparison to a TLR1 HL. Obviously, this isn't going to have a, a laser, but you can see it's also a bit bigger than that as well. Um, so just know this is this is a, a bit longer of a of a light. And then you have the Surefire X300. Now this is most similar to a Surefire X300, I, I would say. Um, this is going to be your largest comparison. Now, the biggest difference, obviously, is going to be that with this, <laughs> you have an integrated green laser, and with this, you do not. So, take that for what it's worth. Um, you know, obviously, the X300 is a tried and true light. It's a great light. Um, I just think that Surefire really needs to step up their game. You know, what I mean, you have Holosun who's coming out with uh, lights that, are, that have lasers integrated. Olight's already been doing it for a while. Um, the Olight's come with two different uh, options, either 123 operated or rechargeable. Obviously, this is also rechargeable, uh, which again, I really like. Now, the uh, suggested runtime, again, at, at high power is 30 minutes, on low power it is um, 60 minutes. Our runtime test is gonna be on the high power, um, 
So we'll do that and see how long it goes. And then after that, we will go ahead and uh, snap off a couple rounds with it on, I think we're gonna mount it to a Glock 19X. Uh, pretty standard, I mean, I feel like I feel like if you're if you're out there and you're watching this, this is a good chance you own a Glock, so we're just gonna go go ahead with that and see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think that uh, again, it's 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 super well made. I like that uh, everything is is integrated. There are no um, front side seams to be to be messed with. Like there isn't a, you know, it, it's all one really solid piece. Uh, so I think Hollison did a great job at at producing this. Here's your uh, light laser. So another kind of cool thing that they did was they made it so that if you tap this top button three times, it will lock out the system so you don't have accidental discharges of the light or the laser. Um, and then to switch through the settings, you just hold these two down and it swaps. So there's your low light setting, and there's your high setting. So you have that as well, which is nice. Um, in order to turn off the light laser, you hold the bottom instead. So the top controls the high or the uh, sorry the high or low setting, and then the two laser buttons at the bottom control whether or not your light laser or just laser, and it'll blink to let you know that you've swapped, which is kind of nice. Also, if you want to turn it on, you simply select. And if you want to turn it off, obviously a single tap. But if you want to just search with it really quick and don't have it stay on, just hold it down. And then when you let go, it'll turn off. So some cool features, some cool settings. Um, yeah, uh, let's, go, let's go do our runtime test because that's going to be super important. I think 30 minutes on high power is kind of low for me. Um, I think that uh, you know there are other, there are other options out there that are offering a little bit more runtime. However, right, you do have a rechargeable battery, so that's super nice. You're not having to worry about things like that. You can, uh, you know, you can if you're, you know, if you're if shit has really hit the fan or whatever the case is, you can you can uh, you can recharge this off of this uh, this USB cable, which means that you can potentially just hook this up to a solar panel and have this charging uh, if you need it in. in in the pinch, or with like a, another recharging with another rechargeable battery, where you're not needing that outlet, or you're not needing necessarily even a, another 123 battery. Now, uh, one thing else I will say is technically inside here is a is a 123. It's a rechargeable 123. Do not put any other non-rechargeable batteries in this, and do not um, have it charging without the battery in there. So for whatever reason, if you had to take the battery out, do not plug in the plower, the, the plower, <laughs> do not plug in the power uh, unless you have your, your rechargeable battery in. So with that said, let's head, we'll, we'll do the test and then we'll get, get out on the, uh, the range and put it on a firearm and just see how, how the controls feel and stuff. So let's head over there. All right, we're moving on to the battery test. We're gonna run it down from absolute uh, zero. So as you can see right there, the green light is on, it's plugged in. We're gonna move it straight from here to that platform um, with it turned on. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just turn it on. This is with the light and the laser on. And we're gonna see how far it'll go. So, here we go.
it went off right at 44 minutes and 11 seconds which is almost 15 minutes beyond the advertised time at 30 minutes which is great and that was at full power with the laser on uh, we're going to throw this on a glock put some rounds through it shoot with it obviously you know the 40 minutes runtime is quite a bit if you're actually just using it to search and stuff um but it's also not a whole lot of runtime when you consider other lights are getting you know more than a couple hours out of theirs so but this is rechargeable so you kind of like have that give and take right so let's move on to the getting some rounds through this thing all right guys we've uh we've gotten done with our light test obviously it's awesome that it went for almost 15 over the uh the time that they had originally promoted at 30 minutes to that 44.11 i think it was right so we got this mounted up to a glock 19x it actually out of the box mounted right up to this and as you can see uh the controls come right over that trigger guard which is really nice makes it really easy to find to find those two controls uh, once you have it set on the dual settings the lit the light and the laser you only need to hit one or the other like you don't you don't need to hit the light on and the laser you just hit either button it turns right on which is which is nice um but uh but yeah it's a. Uh, it feels really nice on here. Um, it's it is pretty light. I feel like it's a little bit. It feels better on this than I think the TLR one does, um, and I like the controls better than the Surefire three hundred. I like that the side mounted makes it a bit easier for to control them. I don't really like pushing in on the Surefire as much as I like pushing to the sides, which is I really like about this light. Um, but yeah, let's la let's snap off a few rounds through it, and uh, just see what it's like uh, selecting off and on the uh, the controls. Yeah, that feels nice. I mean, it's really easy to find those controls, which is again, it's gonna be super nice for, for whoever's using this. I don't know if the 45-ish minute runtime, I think that's maybe the only kind of downside to it. There are lights that go longer than the 45 minute runtime, but being rechargeable is super nice. You don't have to worry about batteries. You can take this out, um, you know, in the pinch, you know, because it has that USB charger, you can throw it on a solar panel if you're out in the sh if you're out in the shit and you need to recharge your battery instead of just carrying tons of batteries on you uh, you can carry like a small solar panel and you could just be charging this um off of that or other things off of that obviously um but yeah it's actually it's actually pretty nice now they do make the so this is the pid plus obviously they do as we talked about they do have the dual so the dual is going to have everything that's in this right the visible green laser the light but it's also going to have an ir laser which i think is kind of cool now the only downside to that obviously is you're not getting that ir loom so if you do run into that like super low light setting then you're kind of like sacrificing that ability um but just from a light laser combo standard i think that this is a it's a great purchase it's it's pretty well priced i think at 150 retail ish depending on where you find it but uh yeah obviously we're also giving this one away so if you guys are interested in the giveaway, make sure you guys check out the links in the bio. There's going to be tons of ways for you guys to enter, tons of different uh, free ways to enter. Don't have to buy anything. Uh, if you guys do, yeah, but we're, not, we're not one of those companies. We're not out here trying to get you guys to buy shitty swag to enter giveaways. So, again, totally free. Just go to links in my bio. And, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. I wish you guys the safest and most fun weekend. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all you guys' love and support. And we will see you guys for Moto Monday next week. And obviously, again, this, this giveaway starts today. So make sure you guys check this out. And uh, yeah, enjoy. And we'll see you guys next time. As always, stay loose, battle on. And if you bitch in your heart, it'll show.